Apa khabar? Saya Asamat. Uh, I just want to do a quick guitar Q&A. Jadi kalau sesiapa ada soalan pasal gitar atau soalan pasal macam nak practice gitar, my guitar is over here but I'm not going to not going to really show anything gitar but it's just like kalau ada soalan-soalan in general, kalau benda pasal theory ataupun benda pasal practice, uh, you can ask me a question. Apa khabar Fami? Apa khabar Ariel? Selamat datang. Hey Kevin Low in the house. Hey Kevin, how you doing? One of the, one of the best classical guitarists I know of is each group generation. Hey Kevin, thanks for hanging out. Uh, I'm just having a guitar Q&A. Jadi, kalau sesiapa ada soalan pasal gitar, practice gitar, uh, boleh tanya a few questions. I'm just going to probably do it macam maybe 10 minit, something like that. And then I'm going to go back doing some of the work. Uh, jadi, kalau sesiapa ada soalan, if you have a quick question and if I can help, I'll try to help. So many people. Cool. Thanks for joining in. So, how's everyone doing? Dari mana menonton ni? Where are you guys tuning in? Um, please type in comments. Hey Imran, how are you? Apa khabar? Yeah, I'm just kind of like, I'm just doing this short thing real quick before I get back to my, my other work. Apa khabar Yasin? Hey Jeppy. Hi, Alhamdulillah, that's good. Sihat, Alhamdulillah, sihat. Been good, been good. Had a good, had a good makan just now, makan nasi lemak. So it's good. Hey Yasin. Hey Hazri, apa khabar? So guys, if anyone has any questions, like guitar questions or music questions, especially guitar questions lah. I, I won't be playing any guitar for this Q&A, tapi kalau ada benda-benda general nak tanya, I'll try to answer. Hey Kevin, hope you and Yin keeping well. Yeah, we're doing good. I mean, except for like the whole lockdown, you know, just the you know cabin fever being at home for so long not going anywhere i miss singapore man to be honest i miss singapore uh and i'm i do miss traveling a bit um uh, yasin uh terima kasih. please do the video testimonial and check the email i sent out email pasal the mastermind so, so please check that uh imran macam mana nak main power chords dengan bar chords ada beza ke uh yeah bar chords you guys tanya good questions I think I have to maybe do put it on my tripod you got after all um reggae strumming just listen to I mean the, I wish I can give you more specific stuff but I don't really play reggae that much uh listen to reggae musicians who play reggae and um copy the homeo parts just copy the songs um Fami you punya soalan pasal like macam mana nak pakai modes kan that is a question yang memerlukan jawapan it takes about a few hours to answer um, yeah, check out uh, Yasin, check out the email about the mastermind And um, I hope you can join If you're interested I think it'll be really It'll be a really cool thing to join Hey honey badges the band Sorry, I'm just putting it on a tripod Because I Someone I thought I didn't want to play guitar For this Facebook For this Instagram live But If people are asking me guitar questions That are very specific I have to play I have to play the examples. Okay, how do I do this? Okay, it's this right angle. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, wave. Hey, Wu Ting. Hey, Ashraf. Fami, Honey Badges, the band. And Timo Resources. Amir, apa kabar? So, um, uh, the guitar is in tune. Okay, let me answer. You the reggae stuff. Um, okay, Imran, macam nak main power chords and power chords. Power chords do a note. G dengan D is a power chord. That's G five. G D G two power chords. Power chords. Bila kita main jari ni flat dekat sini. Ni G major power chord. Jari ni flat. Kalau power chord ni dua note je. Ada beza. Sebab power chord tu berbeza dengan power chord tu a different thing. Power chord is a different thing. Um, nak belajar pasal power chords Get Langkah Gitar Girang 2 It's a course Link in bio You can get it uh, Bar chords Langkah Gitar Girang 3 The Langkah Gitar Girang 3 course Check out link in bio It's uh, Langkah Gitar Girang 3 Reggae strumming Yeah I mean I, I don't have anything much to
try to use downstrokes bila you strum they actually do downstrokes a lot more than people think and um, I wish I can give you more specific things about reggae sebab saya tak banyak transcribe that stuff if I if I have time to transcribe probably ask me again like 8 months or something or keep asking me until I maybe do it uh, modes modes is basically scale so katakan you ambil a chord let's say A minor apa mode yang ada untuk A minor maybe Dorian it's just a scale that's all it is so kalau you pakai Dorian so you pakai that scale uh, or that mode Dorian and you play you play that over the chord so depending on upper mode uh, different modes are the, they are can fit different chords so you have to uh, understand the different modes you know, for the, which chord it is so macam like say like Dor Dorian A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A learning uh, upper mode and sesuai for the chord and then you start improvising learning melodies and sesuai for it um, how do you know which one is good I have a course uh, you you pertama sekali paling penting kalau nak buat tu you kena belajar major skill dulu major skill kena pass dulu kalau major skill you hancur and you belajar modes it's going to be very difficult for you to master modes man kalau you tak tahu major skill so for my course get rahsia jadi hero major skills link in bio and lepas tu, then you can get kunci modes untuk gitaris which is a course just pasal modes saja but to more on the theory side lah major scale interval i don't understand the question uh, i guess like in major scale the scale and maybe the intervals in the scale lah do mi re uh, do mi do fa do so do any interval any interval in the major scale lah probably I have to uh, so Hazri you mean so Alan tu I don't know the context so I tak sure uh, apa jawapan dia. Apa khabar instead be sujud. Khabar J and khabar Alif. I knew the thing because Adlan told me last night after you had a Zoom with him. Oh he told you yeah. Was it good it was good to chat with him eh. What is dissonance? Dissonance ni benda macam mana nak cakap ah? Dissonance ni benda yang clashing tau. So macam kalau kita dengar satu sound let's say we you listen to this. That's consonant kan? Tak bunyi kasar sangat. Tapi kalau buat ni. It's a bit dissonant. Sebab ada? Ada minus second. So if you play a certain interval. Ada certain interval jarak daripada note. Atau certain chords. Dia akan bunyi lebih lebih kasar. Atau chords a bit more. That's dissonance lah. Basically bunyi dia macam clashing tau. Macam. Macam tak clashing. But ni. Clashing. Kalau uh, augmented fourth pun. Orang cakap selalu clashing. Tritone. So. Uh, certain. Interval satu certain chords akan lebih dissonant. So dissonance tu is betapa macam like sakit sound dia out. Sirwan apa khabar? Afisit apa khabar? Romance HK. Kudin 16. Biasanya power chord 73 note acceptable ke? Boleh. Ya yeah, power chords you can play 2 notes. You can play 3 notes. Or you can, yeah so 2 or 3 notes is common lah. Sometimes people will play like sampai 4 notes. Tapi uh, itu selalunya kalau orang pakai alternate tuning atau drone they'll play until 4 or 5 notes. Selalunya 2, 3 note lah. 0, 3, 5. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Siwe ko, apa khabar? Farihin, apa khabar? Hakim Imran, apa khabar? Raisa. Rezidit, how are you doing? Apa khabar? Nicholas, apa khabar? How are you doing, man? Ali Mukaram, Rezidit. Assalamualaikum, Waalaikumsalam. Means kena tengok kot progression dulu ke? Um, apa untuk modes is it untuk modes ya yeah. it depends on the chord progression depends on the chord you boleh pakai modes yang tak kena dengan chord progression tapi it's like doesn't make sense uh, as I baru tahu pasal tuning I ingat satu tuning nak belajar pasal tuning ada pasal just pasal tuning um, standard tuning drop D double drop D open D that get um, lepas tu ada a whole bunch of other open tunings Nak belajar pasal tuning, like what? Uh, macam mana nak tune ataupun the different kinds of tuning. Kalau you minat different kinds of tuning, I recommend start dengan drop tuning. 
uh, from standard Q ni jadi D jadi drop D lepas tu double drop D ni dua ni turun D to D D and D lepas tu baru try other tunings tuning is a huge topic man sebab bila you belajar different tunings you boleh dapat different kinds of fingering and chords so I selalu last time I, I used to play a lot more in that get so D A D G A D hey Tasnim how you doing Hakimi apa khabar macam mana nak main flourishes macam Hendrix? You pick a chord, let's say E minor, and then you cari note yang atas yang yang macam sesuai. So macam E minor kan, E minor seven ni, yang masuk is E minor pentatonic. So from the chord tu, you just find the note atas yang. Lepas tu buat hammer on and pull off, hammer on, pull off, hammer on, pull off. buat lagi laju sikit so we make it like A minor sorry but maybe B, uh, C maybe C A friend of mine is calling me through messenger. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna finish off this this live first lah. I'm not gonna do that. Um, okay, apa lagi soalan ni? Kawan Wan Daniel, terima kasih kerana selalu like my stuff. Okay, let me see a few more questions I can try to answer. Tips of bar chords, getting frustrated. Can't get the bar chord to sound good. Uh, go on. Uh, <laughs> Okay, the sales pitch would be get Langka Gita Girang 3 to cover bass up. Get my course Langka Gita Girang 3. That one is memang pasal bar chord saja. Uh, the non sales pitch one is go to YouTube. Saya ada buat 2-3 video pasal macam mana teknik nak main bar chord. That one is longer than this lah. But basically, you kena tekan tu dengan selesa tau. So, kalau you tekan sini kan, dekat belakang ni tak support. Susah at the beginning. Lepas tu... Lepas tu masa mula-mula you belajar bar chord, jangan buat macam the whole thing tau Buat sini aja, maybe dua tali, tiga tali, empat tali So you tak sakitkan jari sangat It takes some time to get used to it And also mungkin salah gitar you, maybe gitar you the action of the tali is terlalu tinggi And kalau the action dia terlalu tinggi, it's not gonna sound good If your jari is not strong, it's not gonna sound good If your placement is not strong So I cannot tell what's your what's the mistake you're doing uh, But You might want to check your guitar or you might want to check your technique Or you might want to check both Tapi macam tu lah, I would say try buat ni dulu tau Just dapat dua jari ni, dua tali kan Get, get the bar chord for that dulu cantik Okay uh, Hope that helps Api kacang. Kenapa certain orang tak suka parallel fifth? Sebab dia orang suka classical Classical music, traditional like macam counterpoint Macam SATB kan, bukan SATB Yeah, four part classical harmony Parallel fifth ni benda yang tak sesuai For that period It basically doesn't, it sounds more modern It doesn't sound macam that period So that's why orang tak suka Um Tips transition pentatonic scale to from one key to the other key. You just need to practice dua dua tu. Katakan G minor ke B minor, B flat minor. Put to here. I mean the easiest. So bila you dah part main the last note of it You mind the next note of the next skill So you kena tahu daripada mana note you end up Cari the note yang paling dekat for the next pentatonic That's how you do it uh, If you better if you can find the fingering in one place lah Kalau G minor ni Kalau B flat It's to be senang in one position To the original one So you can cari fingering yang Around the same place That is helpful lah Dan cari note yang paling dekat For the next one Apa khabar Mior? Chastriel apa khabar? 
Hey John, been a while John. John Ku in the house. Macam Hendrix Little Wing, ya. Yeah. Emran, uh, as lagu paling susah pernah main atau belajar? Neon susah lah. I sampai sekarang tak boleh main Neon. <laughs> I tried. Uh, Hazri, of course, Razi jadi hero major skill sangat best. Thanks so welcome. Thanks so much. I'm gonna screenshot that. That's a good comment. I appreciate that. Berapa gitar yang sekarang? I lost count how many guitars I have. I have a, I have a lot actually. Um, but this is not mine. This one, El Lutia, is on loan from them. So, I like the guitar. Nak beli? Siapa nak beli? 1590. Coffee Light C. Good model. Um, it's a really cool guitar. What guitar technique should you learn as an intermediate student? Um, look at the song that you want to learn lah. And then, from the song, check out what techniques you need. It's very hard for me to say just like intermediate. I don't know your... Your definition of intermediate and my definition of intermediate might be different tau. So you tengok lagu yang you nak main and then learn apa teknik you perlukan untuk lagu tu. Otherwise, you'll be in a kind of a deep end of like just belajar teknik sampai bila-bila. Ska atau reggae, go to the songs man. Go to the songs and learn a song. Bila nak sambung kelas gitar asamat? Club gitar, club gitar atau kelas gitar? Club gitar is on right now. I'm going to do the next club gitar... Probably this weekend will be the next club guitar thing. Kita akan buat... Ah, yeah, by the way. Siapa yang berminat nak join Club Guitar Asamat? Now, you might not know what it is. So, Club Guitar Asamat is basically a monthly subscription. Uh, you join and you buy... Uh, sekarang is $40 this month. July. $40 uh, sebulan. And you get a new course every month. And you also get uh, what I call Mastermind uh, Music A to Z. Which means that you boleh hadir a Zoom session with me. Dan tanya lah apa-apa. And in fact, you can even like be on video on the call. And show me what you're working on. And uh, Macam private lesson lah tapi in a group. Macam group lesson lah basically. So that one, kalau you nak study one-on-one -on -one with me, it's going to be 350 ringgit. Ataupun $115 for one hour. This one, kalau you join Club Guitar, you can join that Zoom session. Of course, it's in a group. It's only 40 bucks. So if you always wanted to study with me tapi kalau budget has been a, a kind of a halangan, you might want to join Club Guitar Asamat. Link in bio. Today's the last day untuk bulan ni nak join. So click link dekat bio, uh, you'll see Club Guitar Asamat. Click on that for all the info. Kalau ada soalan tak clear, let me know. But you can, I would love for you to join if you are interested nak belajar dengan saya tiap bulan. Get a new course, get to hang out with me on Zoom and usually there's bonuses and stuff. Uh, the next Club Guitar meeting will be this um should be this weekend lah saturday or sunday i need to uh, i need to double check the timing um uh, but we'll be talking about double stops pula ni so join <laughs> siapa berminat join uh chai chai la net um major skills the only way to memorize the jam of back and track good enough well um if you can memorize then it's good but i don't think that's the best way lah <laughs> i think there's a lot of ways you dah dapat have you gotten rasti jadi hero major skills if you haven't, get that because it shows you what took me many many years to learn, 24 years to learn is in a, in that video. So um, if if whatever you're doing is already working for you, then it's good lah. But if it's not working, for, if you, for me, you should be able to play in any key anywhere on the guitar. So contohnya kan, kalau kita nak cakap, okay, G flat major, B major. Basically, anywhere you are, you should be able to change from any major scale to any major scale. That's the ideal situation. And actually try to sound as good as you can. Um, so if you can do that, then you're in good shape. If not, maybe you need a better system, perhaps. At Warif, dari mana kita nak tahu set amplifier macam hari tu main entertainment tapi bunyi ke laut? 
there's a whole bunch of all these tutorials pasal EQ and setting dekat YouTube. I haven't done a lot of like tone setting stuff. Some people have been asking me to do like tutorial pasal pedals and I might do something at some point. Uh, it's just that I need to plan the material, the topic. Masa dekat Berkeley dulu ada one class kan, it's just pasal guitar, effects pedal saja. Can okay, you just mean one semester kan belajar pasal effects je? One week belajar pasal distortion, one week belajar pasal chorus, one week belajar pasal delay, time based effects and stuff. So it was quite fun. But I haven't made a course macam tu lagi. So, uh, but yeah, go to YouTube and just find like setting sound for Enter Sandman. Um, practice too with metronome. Basic skill untuk jazz. Major skill. Major skill, serious. Tapi kena main saja lah. Basic skill for jazz is major skill. <laughs> okay, someone asked some questions here. Kalau circle of you wajah hafal ke kena buat lagu kau kita. Nak buat lagu on kita, you know, to be honest, you tak payah hafal circle of you kalau you nak buat lagu on kita. Tapi adakah benda tu berguna? Ya, yeah, amat-amat berguna. Because it's just like to me, it's just benda tu basic knowledge for musician. So, so hafal lah. <laughs> I think it's really good. Next question tadi. Um, apa tu? Saya dah main kita lah. Dah lama main gitar tapi bila buat bar tu ibu jari lenguh Ada tip tak macam nak improve bro uh, Jangan tekan terlalu kuat Dan nombor dua check tali gitar tu is tinggi sangat ke tak It might be your action, it might be your technique, it might be your posture I cannot tell unless I see you play uh, So it's very hard to determine And kadang-kadang bila tengok orang tekan Kadang-kadang it's hard to see you know whether you You have to look at your jari lah Kalau you rasa lenguh you kena tengok tak Sini lenguh ke sini lenguh ke sini lenguh ke sini lenguh So you have to be attentive Uh, for my course, get langkah gitar girang tiga. That's the one yang ada cover pasal bar chords. So, I would recommend uh, getting that if you haven't yet. Kabar semua. Macam nak faham jazz chord progression? Get my course. Kuasa chord progression major skills 1-6. Part 1 until 6. Link in bio. Scroll, click link my link in bio. Scroll all the way down. Click kuasa chord progression major skills 1-6. to six. Get that one. That one is basically macam belajar harmony class dekat Berkeley. But... Uh, For cheaper <laughs> Mak Asa ada buat course belajar main in every key tak? Rahsia jadi hero major skills is the basic one Get that one first And then I have uh, courses for all the other stuff Macam after rahsia jadi hero major skills is like um, Selalu I recommend formula lead guitar bergaya And then system senang solo satu So those things are related to that I also have a cage system course juga Tapi if you haven't gotten get uh, yang Rahsia jadi hero major skills first C minor blues is so confusing The pentatonic scheme macam susah nak cari um, It's not that hard actually I mean, it's just Itu minor pentatonic kan Minor blues, you add F sharp So C, E flat, F, F sharp, G, B flat, C Basic sound for Ashra. Jawapan dia. Hey everyone. Belajar gitar pasal apa? Ada beginner course ke? I have a beginner course. Uh, siri Langkah Gitar Girang 1, 2, 3. Check out my link in bio. Langkah Gitar Girang 1, 2, 3. Step by step. Get that one. Daily apa khabar? Wan Daniel. Waalaikumsalam Ashra. Kenapa lagu Melayu lagi susah dari lagu Inggeris? Tak kisah rock. Depends which song lah. I mean, to me, club guitar. Club guitar sekarang open. Hari ni last day. Uh, 
I want to join. Um, how to memorize position of every note in every style of scale. Get my course technique hafal notes guitar. I have a whole, I have a course, a very short course yang pasal tu. Um, so go link in bio technique hafal notes guitar. Basic thing I can show you here because the 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 more step by step way is panjang sikit nak explain. But the basic thing is pilih satu note. Let's say C kan. And cari C everywhere on the guitar. C, 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 C. Lepas tu cari the next note maybe F, 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 F. B flat. B flat, B flat, B flat, B flat. So play one note and then look everywhere on the guitar for it. That's one way to do it. Uh, and you do that with every single note at the doublest note. So do, do that. That's one of the exercises that you can do. It's good exercise. Uh, but to Alina, step by step, get technique, hafal notes kita. Link in bio. It's good. It's basically what my one on one students belajar dengan saya. Okay, let me see. I can answer. I'm trying to try to answer satu dua soalan lagi. Uh, can you list down basic, three basic knowledge theory for musicians? Um, major skills, intervals, triads. Paling basic. Major skills, intervals, and triads. Major, minor, diminished, augmented. Kat coffee house mana eh you mainin gigi yang Adi Afro? Uh, we used to play. We didn't play coffee house. We used to play dekat. We played dulu last time dekat No Black Tie and we played dekat uh, Dewan Philharmonic Petronas. Uh, and Bobo KL. I think I, me and Gigi we played dekat Bobo KL. But now tak ada lah sebab pandemic end. But I I played some. We played some shows together. Dekat uh, Alexis pun pernah kita main dulu. Alexis. I was there that night. Oh cool. Thanks for thanks so much for tuning in, everyone. Sorry, Zal. Waalaikumsalam. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go off just to let you guys know. Kalau you berminat nak belajar gitar dengan saya, uh, you can join Club Gitar Asamat. Club Gitar Asamat last day tonight. Today is sampai pukul sebelas lima puluh sembilan malam is the last chance you can join untuk bulan ni. It's US forty for uh, setiap bulan empat puluh dollars bulan. So it's about seratus enam puluh ringgit. You get a new course every month. It's cheaper to join the club. You get the course. Uh, you get a session where a Zoom Uh, session mastermind music A to Z where you boleh main gitar dan tanya saya soalan pasal gitar and I, I can try to answer your question more direct I can see you play uh, usually we don't have such a big group of people attending those selalu even though club gitar is about 30 people sekarang dalam 30 orang join club gitar selalu maybe dalam 3, 5, 6 orang uh, datang live um, how to play thumb chords you put here for the G and then you play the rest with all the, all the other fingers It depends on the size of the neck though. So my hands are quite big and this is a smaller neck. So it's easier for me. The idea is this is taking the bass note. Bass note with the thumb. That's the way. Sama-sama. Okay. I'm gonna go off. Wow. Banyaknya, banyaknya soalan. Last question. Best electric guitar for first timers? It depends on what you mean at. I would recommend a brand that is trust trustworthy. Like a Fender Squire maybe or an Ibanez. But the model depends on what kind of music you like. Do you like Pat Smear? I'm not sure who's Pat Smear lah. Macam mana nak buat faham jazz, uh, jazz, chord jazz progression? Get Kuasa Chord Progression Major Skills 1 till 6 Link in bio Scroll all the way down Dekat my link in bio And you can get it there um, I really recommend that Itu is actually Berkeley punya Harmony course Okay So that's all for today Thanks so much for joining guys Kalau you suka this video You know please like And uh, the germs I need to check it out Send me a link Send me a link So I can check it out uh, And you know I hope video ni membantu And I hope Siapa-siapa yang berminat Nak join club kita Asamat Today is your last chance to join If not, next month in August, I'll open it again. Okay. Have a great day, guys, and see you next time. Take care. Assalamualaikum. Bye.